Hello and welcome to Point of View. Finally the day fans of ISRO and India, first human space flight Guganyaan have been waiting for. Today, India moved a step closer to the brink of a significant milestone in its space journey. The country conducted the first flight test for its Guganyaan mission, taking a big step towards the eventual first crewed spaceflight. The Indian Space Research Organization, the premier space agency of India, conducted an in-flight abort test of their Guganyaan crew capsule today. It was successful and achieved a major milestone to launching Indian astronauts to Earth orbit in 2025. The Guganyaan mission's flight test vehicle abort mission, 1 or TV, D1 is a crucial step in ensuring the safety and success of the Guganyaan mission. The vehicle will be launched from Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh on Saturday, October 21st Indian time. This was a short duration mission, but one that carries immense significance. The test vehicle was a single-stage liquid rocket developed specifically for this abort mission. The payloads consisted of the crew module and crew escape systems with their fast-acting solid motors, along with CM fairing and interface adapters. This flight simulated an abort condition during the ascent trajectory corresponding to a Mach number of 1.2 encountered in the Guganyaan mission. This simulation was critical to ensure that in case of any unforeseen circumstances during the actual mission, the crew could be safely returned to Earth. The crew escape system with crew module separated from the test vehicle at an altitude of about 17 kilometers. Following this, the abort sequence executed autonomously, commencing with the separation of CES and deployment of a series of parachutes. This sequence finally culminated in the safe touchdown of the crew module in the sea, about 10 kilometers from the coast of Sriharikota. The flight test vehicle abort mission, 1 demonstrated the performance of the crew escape system. This system is a crucial part of India's Guganyaan mission, which aims to send unmanned and manned missions to outer space by 2024. The Guganyaan project is an ambitious endeavor that will demonstrate India's human space flight capability by launching a crew of three astronauts to an orbit 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface for a three-day mission and bringing them back safely. The astronauts are currently undergoing rigorous training to prepare for this historic journey. Before embarking on a manned mission, there will be multiple test flights to ensure all systems are functioning optimally. These demonstrator missions include an integrated airdrop test, a pad abort test, and test vehicle flights. Each mission plays a vital role in validating various aspects of the overall mission. India has set its sights high with plans to put astronauts on the moon by 2040 and construct its own space station by 2035. This announcement follows a high-level meeting chaired by India Prime Minister Narendra Modi to assess progress of India's Guganyaan human spaceflight mission. Notably, NASA is currently targeting December 2025 for launching a crewed landing mission to the lunar south pole as part of its Artemis program. China has announced its goal of landing two astronauts on the moon before 2030. Amidst these global efforts, India is creating its own roadmap for lunar exploration. Placing humans on the moon would further bolster India's position in the space race. The country became the first to land near the South Pole in August after Russia failed in a similar attempt. So there you have it. As we stand on the precipice of another giant leap for mankind, one thing's clear, India's journey to the stars is unstoppable. Stay tuned for this monumental flight test, a pivotal chapter in India's space odyssey. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.